Yo, before this video gets started, man, if y'all need any type of legit stack 2K19 accounts or even legit stack 2K20 accounts, hit up my boy Crazy Accounts and let them know that Charles sent you. Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles DK coming back to another video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. You're trying to subscribe, make sure you like. Comment down below, let your boy know how you're doing. If you have not already, man, make sure you turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload from me, your boy. Also, in my comments down below is my 2K20 Gold Edition giveaway uh, in the comments. So make sure y'all don't y'all don't miss a chance to win a free copy of 2K20. I already done did two other copies. It's gonna be the last copy, and that giveaway ends on August 31st. So, without further ado, bro, y'all already know what kind of video this is. It's a new week, so y'all know every Monday I, I keep y'all posted and updated with a new VC glitch. So, without further ado, all you would need is your my player, your USB, or PlayStation Plus. So. Y'all already know what step one is. Uh, go to my career, hit triangle, go all the way down and hit new my career, and I'll be back once it loads up. Okay, once you guys are done with you, um, your vitals and all that, basically he will walk over to the position screen. Now you must make this exactly how I'm telling you guys how to make it. Uh, the position is gonna be a center. Okay, now um, he's gonna begin to walk over here and you know what I'm saying, you're gonna pick your archetype, your primary skill, and your secondary skill. But you already know, you know what I'm saying? Now you must, you must, everything that I'm showing you right now, you must do in order to get this to continue to work, you know what I'm saying? Because 2KB patching these weekly, that's why I drop them weekly, but anyway, the primary skill and secondary skill is both going to be defending, which is basically a, a pure rim protector. Okay, now regarding the height, weight, and wingspan, you already know how we get down with that. You want to max that out every time because, you know what I'm saying, the team just, they like big bodies, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't a big body, uh, it's a certain severity that you will not begin putting into the game and you will not be able to do this glitch. So, the height you're going to make him is 7'3". Uh, that's the max height you can make with a center. Um, the max weight is going to be 290 okay now once you're not maxing out the weight the wingspan is going to be max wingspan i think it's like a 80 point something i don't know i think it's 90 80 points something, 100 something yeah it's 100.1 okay all right now once you're done maxing out everything your player will begin to walk over to the doors uh with mike wang jr and once he gets to the door a message will begin to pop up boom as you guys can see would you like your prelude or go direct to the NBA? You want to just go down to yes on that message. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to go to no prelude as it will mess up this glitch. So make sure you just hit yes on that message. Once you hit yes on that, it will bring up a 2018 open now uh, free agency screen, as you guys can see. Once you guys are at this screen right here, all you guys want to do is go all the way down to you see the Cleveland Cavaliers. Boom, right here. Uh, then you want to get to the negotiation screen, so spam X, but don't spam it too much because you can mess it up. All right, but once you're at this screen right here, hit counter offer. Set your VC to 640 VC and everything else put it on zero and he will accept the deal. Once he has accepted the deal, it will begin to load up and I'll be right back once this loads up. All right, once you guys get to this cutscene, you can hold X, uh, hold X again. Hit triangle or Y, go into your options, go into your settings, change your game difficulty to Hall of Fame and your quarter length to 12 minutes. Uh, before doing this next step, you want to allow the ball, you see the ball in the right hand corner, you want to allow that to spin off um, and go off the screen before you do anything else. But while that is loading, I just want to say Tuesday evening, do not miss my stream. Make sure you have those post notifications turned on. We will be playing that prelude. I'm going to start streaming a little early uh and basically it's gonna be like a little countdown for the 2k uh 20 prelude so don't make sure y'all in there back come support but anyway once that ball is done spinning all you guys want to do is hit triangle uh and start with the toronto game and i'll be back once this game loads up
Okay, now obviously in this first game, guys, you want to be able to get put in. So basically, but I just want to tell you guys, if you don't get put in your first game, just continue to try because you will be getting put in within your first game and your fifth game of the season. So if you don't get put in, don't go in the comments saying, oh, don't worry, I can't do this. Just keep trying. As you guys can see, I got put in my first game uh, during garbage minutes or whatever. The score is 66 to 91. Remember what I told you guys, when you're a big player, you know what I'm saying, when your team is down and all that, they will end up, that's the highest chance, you know what I'm saying, you get put into the game. But once you get put into the game, all you simply want to do is hit start. Go to quit and simply go to ask out and send to the end with VC. You have officially started the glitch once you have done that. Um, everything will begin to load up normally, you know what I'm saying? If you get the VC from this game, that's fine. But if you don't, you know what I'm saying, it really doesn't matter. As long as you got that option to ask out and send to the end with VC, uh, you're all good. The glitch is officially started. So uh, everything will load up normally. Once you get to the back, you know what I'm saying? If you do get the cutscene asking, do you want to call out your fans or your teammates? You always want to call out, uh, call out your fans, but if you don't get it, that's fine too. Anyway, once you get back into here, you want to go all the way over to April 1st. And, uh, you want to simulate over to there, and I'll be back once this loads up. Okay, now once you guys get over to April 1st, as you guys can see, your endorsement tick should be lined up. If your endorsement tick is not lined up, you must delete the file and, uh, you know what I'm saying, restart the glitch and do it all over again. But once you get to April 1st and your endorsement tick is lined up, all you guys simply want to do is load up the endorsement and I'll be back once it's loaded. Once your dude begins to walk into the door, I got someone to do is hold X. And it will ask you Gatorade or Foot Lock. You want to go down the Foot Locker right always and hold X once again. Your player will begin to walk down the steps. Once he is officially down the steps, all you want to do is hit Triangle and start up the Phoenix game. And I'll be back once this game loads up. Okay, guys, once you get to this Phoenix game, you already know what this game is. Basically, this is the placeholder game when doing this glitch. It's basically just a game that you have to play uh, to register the glitch in order to get the glitch to continue to work how we need it to work. So, if you get put into this game, it's not a big deal, you know what I'm saying? You can simply ask out Sim to the end with VC, or you can simply ask out Sim to the end without VC. Like I said, it's just a game that you need to play um, in order to get the glitch to work, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so as you guys can see, I didn't get put into that game. I didn't need to. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, so if you get VC from that game, it's fine. If you don't, it's completely fine. That game just needed to be loaded up in order to trigger uh, what we needed. So once you get back into the locker room, your endorsement tick will be lined up. All you guys simply want to do, it will be the uh, Foot Locker Level 1 contract negotiation. So once you load that up, you basically want to continue hitting X until you get to the counter offer screen. Uh, so basically that's what I'm about to do. All right, boom, I'm here. Counter offer. All you want to do is set your VC to 2,500 VC. Basically, don't go any higher or any lower, or you will mess up this part. So, boom, 2,500. Everything else on zero. Uh, you will have the counter offer twice. On the second time, he will accept it. Once he's accepted it, you want to go straight into the neighborhood, and I'll be back once this loads up. Okay, once you guys are in the park after, um, you know what I'm saying, accepting the Foot Locker Level 1 contract negotiation, you want to simply go to your endorsements and it will be lined up and it will be the Level 2 contract negotiation for Foot Locker. Once you're here, all you want to do is simply counter offer, go all the way up uh, to 5,000 VC. That's the highest you can go when um, when doing this little part right here. So set your VC to 5,000 VC and um, everything else, you know what I'm saying, obviously will be set to zero. Boom. Uh, now this time, instead of counter, counter offering twice, you have to counter offer three times. And um, on your third time, he will accept it. 
And um, basically, once you've done that, all you guys simply have to do is get put in within these four games right here. Or if you don't even get put in within those four games, you can get put in during the playoffs. So I'm about to put a timestamp on the screen right now. Uh, so you guys don't have to sit here and wait to see the fast forward and where you can actually just, just uh, skip to that. And y'all will see me being put into the game. So I'll be right back. And as you guys can see, they put me in during the first quarter. So if you get put in within the first quarter and the second quarter and stuff like that, all you guys simply want to do is get fouls until they take you out of the game. And um, <clears throat> basically at this point, you can foul out. Uh, so that's basically what I'm about to do. But everybody won't be um, doing this like I'm doing it. Uh, people will begin putting in during the fourth, I mean, not the fourth, during the third quarter, and you will be able to ask out some to the NBC. But in this instance, if you do get put in before that, uh, all you guys simply got to do is get fouls and stuff. So that's basically what I'm just about to do. So let me just fast forward here real quick. Okay, now as you guys can see, I'm back and now. I'm able to just hit start <clears throat> and ask them to the NWBC, which is good, which is what we want. Now, like I just said, if you get put in earlier, uh, like the first and second quarter, all you guys want to do is get fouls and stuff until you get the option to ask them to the NWBC, uh, as you guys just see me got. Now, once you've done that, you're basically done with the glitch. You just got to do a few more steps uh, when doing this. So, um, basically, your player will go back to the locker room. Once he's back in the locker room, your endorsement tick will be lined up. Check the endorsement. Make sure it's the 5,000 Foot Locker Billboard endorsement. Once you see that you have it, all you guys simply want to do is quit to the play now screen. Okay, once you guys get to the play now screen, all you guys simply want to do is hit the middle button on your controller. Go into your settings. Go all the way down to application, save data management. It will close NBA 2K19. Then you want to go to save data and system storage. Now, um, in this instance, if you have a USB, you would go to copy to USB. But since um, I don't feel like plugging in my USB, all you guys want to do is go to upload to um, to system storage uh, via PS Plus. But if you don't have PS Plus, this is the same thing. All you guys simply would do was hit um, the USB option. But once you get here, all you want to do is select NBA 2K19. Select the micro file that's at the top. Uh, it will always be the one that you just closed out with, and you can just check it by the time and the date. So once you have it, just hit upload, uh, hit apply to all, and hit yes. Now that will upload. It will take a little minute, about... 15 seconds you know what i'm saying not that long as you guys can see but once that is uploaded all you guys want to do is hit the middle button and control again uh and go back into nba 2k19 and i'll be back once it loads up Okay, once you guys are back into the part after uh, saving it to your USB or to the PlayStation Cloud, all you guys want to do is hit triangle, go into your adjustments, and load up the 5,000 uh, bulletin, uh, not the bulletin, the fucking billboard uh, Foot Locker endorsement. Now, this will take a little minute. 
to load up, which is normally fine. Uh, I will tell you guys when you need to close your application. Should be coming up on the screen in a minute. Um, so yeah, if you made this final video, make sure you leave a like, you know what I'm saying? It helps more people see the video. But anyway, once you get this message right here, hit X on it, hit the middle button of your controller, close your application, go all the way over to your settings, go down to application save data management. But this time you wanna go to save data and online storage. And if you use the USB, you would go to save data on uh, USB storage. So we use the online storage this time. So all you wanna do is go into save data online storage, hit download to system storage, select NBA 2K19, select the same file you just uploaded, Hit apply to all and hit yes now once you have done that one time you need to do that two more times and um on your fourth time loading back up that's when i'll come back to tell you guys how to finish the glitch so don't worry i'm gonna drop a timestamp that you can just skip to so you don't have to skip uh so you don't have to sit here and watch me just um do that step over and over so i'll be right back All right, guys, once you are back into here after doing that um, three times, all you guys want to do is go back to the endorsement, load it up one more time. Now, this time, you're not going to close your application. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go into your settings. None of that extra stuff this time. This time, you're just going to let it load up normally uh, as is, and you will get the 15K. Now, once this loads up, I'm going to tell you guys how to get the extra thousand. So basically, uh, hold on, there it is. Boom, it loaded up. So you want to do these two little things right here for 500 VC each, which equals 1,000 VC. Uh, and that's 16k now let me just tell you guys how you will stack this because a lot of people be asking me this on instagram and stuff in my dms and stuff so the way that you will stack this is you don't want to wait 24 hours you want to just delete this file and repeat the steps that i just i just showed you you know what i'm saying over and over uh but only i would say don't go too high with vc you know what i'm saying that's why y'all always see me with like 30k or something uh at this point because 2k is banning people and i'm not trying to get banned because i do have to play on this account or 2k20 but um yeah once basically once you're done with all that you're done with the glitch you know what i'm saying uh so yeah this is basically just gonna play out um if you enjoyed this video in any way shape or form uh please remember to leave a like and subscribe um 2k20 is just around the corner and, um it's gonna be more lit videos and stuff like that on the way so i just need y'all to rock with me y'all know i got y'all so anyway man y'all about to see me get my vc uh i hope y'all enjoyed this video until next video it's your boy charles 2k i'm out